Look at the hat. We got the hats on. Right, right, right. Are we going to be cheesing it up tonight? No, well, we're not going to be cheesing it up. We have. We have some Parmesan. Okay. Cheese. All right. We're cheesing it up then. Brothers Bistro. Recipe so simple, even a dude can make it. I'm Skinny Kitty. I'm Muscle Ed Ken. And, and we're, we're the Claw Brothers. Brothers. Welcome, Welcome to Brothers Bistro. Well, for tonight, we got a super simple recipe. In fact, they even recommended pre-cooked meat for the recipe, which was a little bit of a bridge too far. We're going to tell you, we're going to show them our take, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We're going to cook the meat. It's because, always our take. Because it's got to be hot anyways, and it doesn't take long to cook a little, little chicken. So, yeah. so it, stay with us. When we come back, we're going to have the ingredients. What is it? Chicken Caesar wraps. Right. Get straight down. Get straight down. <laughs> chicken Caesar wraps. So if you haven't had chicken, and you haven't had Caesar, and you haven't had wraps, you're in the right place. That's it? That's, That's it, all baby. it is? That's yeah. it? That's just a couple of little things? Main, the main ingredient, get your hand out of the way, the main ingredient is... Chicken. The chicken. We got six ounces. Now, we would like it to be six ounces after it's cooked, so we put a little extra on there just to be sure. Right. We're gonna cook these on the barbecue. You can put them in a pan if you want with a little olive oil. My experience says it's it shrinks down a couple of ounces because it's, this it's, is not only frozen, yeah. but it's also there is some. Yeah, it's like it's like seventy percent shrinkage or twenty five percent shrinkage, yeah. right? So yeah, and then the other ingredients we got some romaine lettuce leaves, we got some uh, cherry, cherry tomatoes, tomatoes that we've quartered, we got sliced some, almonds, yeah. Parmesan cheese, and look, we got two different types of dressing to try out now. Something we wanted you guys all remember is that, look, this one here is 50 calories. This is Bolt House. It's a yogurt-based dressing, usually found in the refrigerated section of the vegetables area. And in the it, produce section. Yeah. In, I'm sorry, yeah, the produce section uh, along the wall in a refrigerated cabinet. Because and, it's got yogurt, they need to keep it refrigerated, otherwise it would go bad. Right. Right. And, th and this one is not found in the refrigerator section. It's just in the aisle of all the other salad yeah. dressings. I'm not sure why it doesn't go bad, but it's probably got preservatives. Because it's got in, all so. kinds of crap. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. But it's, it's 120 calories. So <laughs> over twice. As same. Many yeah. yeah. So that's why people have trouble when they go on salads because they think it's healthy. But they put a dressing on there, and the dressing is more the whole meal. This whole meal yeah. is only going to be about three to four hundred calories. So if you put two or three servings of dressing, you would have doubled your calorie count. Calorie count. Yeah. So, you, you know, it's something you want to pay attention to. And it's the reason why we say when you're in a restaurant, you want to get your dressing on the side because you want to be able to control how much dressing is going on your meal. And the, one of the other tips we say is use your fork. You dip your fork into the little thing and you hey. eat, a little bite of, uh, eat a little bite of Caesar salad or whatever you're having. Right. So here we you are. You just need the taste. Five just, ingredients. That's it. So we're going to cook this thing up on the grill. And I'll probably season it a little bit with my favorite Montreal steak seasoning. They still aren't endorsing this. I don't know why you keep going back to that well. It's dry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so you're out here in the backyard. My grill here is ready to go. It's a little dusty, but it's, it's ready to go. It's a little dirty out here, buddy. You're gonna get out here and clean your grill. <laughs> my grill, it's seasoned, well seasoned. <laughs> We're gonna put this on here because it's not up to temp yet, but it's also, frozen meat so we're gonna let it thaw kind of a little, little faster pace on the grill and then we'll see how it goes from there we'll come back out and we'll season it once it's thawed a little bit so let's just come right back in about I don't know 10 or 15 minutes it'll thaw it out it'll start looking good and then I always look at that rebound of the meat you can put the thermometer in there but remember these are frozen so it's a little bit more tricky we're back back to my polished barbecue we're ready to go check the chicken okay so it's still a little froze it's getting there. Frozen. Froze. Froze. Frozen. Okay. We're flipping it. We're letting it thaw a little bit more. The temp's still down. But when it's when it's thawed totally, I'm gonna put this seasoning on here, this Montreal steak seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle it. What I have found is that for most of these seasonings, if you put it on one side, don't put it on both sides, it's enough salt for you. You don't really need more than that. What you need is just the one side. And I don't do it liberal because you can always add more. Um, seasoning to it. Look, it's a little more, it's a little more flopsy. Where, let's see, show me the flopsy. A little more flopsy, and you can see it's still not quite cooked, um, but you can just tell, I don't know how to explain it other than you can tell by the rebound as it gets, as it gets cooked more, the fork goes in there and sticks in the kind of like that on the end. So you gotta go maybe another little five or ten more minutes, and then we'll pull it off because it'll keep cooking. 
The worst thing that we want, that we we don't want to do. The uh, biggest thing we don't want to do is to, um, to undercook it. Let's do this. Okay, so we got the chicken off the grill. Now we're gonna cut it up a little bit, and then we're gonna put it on our scale here, and we're gonna measure it uh, because remember, chicken breast we want six ounces. And you want it cooked all the way through, so you'll notice that the, the fork kind of goes in and sinks in and stays there, as opposed to as opposed to kind of rebounding off it if it's not cooked. It'll, so that's that's almost three so ounces. We're kind of cubing it. Uh, the, the the recipe actually called for just strips, but we talked it over and we decided cubing it would be a better solution because. That way you can you won't end up with this huge piece of meat in your mouth and bite into it. Right. That's right. And then we're gonna put it, remember too, we gotta we gotta get this dressing around it. So that's a little uh, right at four ounces. So looks like three of them is gonna be six ounces depending on the size. That's the thing you don't know about these tenders, is there's all kinds of different sizes on them. So let's see. Yep, that's six ounces right there, baby. Six ounces. We're gonna get one off. Put that in that bowl. Ooh. Okay, that's six ounces, buddy. And now we're gonna basically make the Caesar dressing in here, right? By right. combining all this stuff in there. So you get the, is that the yogurt-based one? And I've got the real stuff, do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> I don't remember. Wow, that's a problem. All right, so I'm gonna, Okay, so here's the thing, Ken. I think I'm gonna use my deductive reasoning, but this one looks like it's got a little more speckles in it. Yours maybe has some more speckles. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with that reasoning. So I've got the real stuff. And you've got the the yogurt-based stuff, and we're gonna pour in half of the almonds, half of the parmesan, half of the tomatoes. Mix it up. Okay. Wow, that's mixing out pretty nice. Okay. I didn't think it was going to be enough dressing, but it looks like it's just the right amount. So each one of these is going to make two tacos, and Kevin and I have decided we're going to have one of each so we can kind of do a taste test on the dressing. Yeah, because the only difference is the dressing, so we thought. Here we go. All right, yeah. remember, you only get one and you build one that's for me. That's true, that's true. Okay, so the thing with these leaves are, these are really long and these taco holders aren't quite so long. So what we did was we opted to remove the top part of the leaf and then just kind of maybe fold it back. Or reinforce, it reinforce the other piece. And, and so we've got a little, we've got all the lettuce on there. We didn't throw the lettuce away because there's no harm in that. Right. And now we're gonna build the, the taco. By doing that, we're gonna take half of the, of the Filling, so we got taco filling here, and just spoon it in. Hey, that's a lot, buddy. All right. Don't be stealing my hat. Wow. I don't know if I can fit it all in the taco. Come on. My brother likes meaty tacos, so let's go with it. Okay. Oh, I, I did two. Oh, you so you'll have to, you'll, you do the other two. Okay. You do two, and then I'll grab one from there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna. Try a little faster method, just spooning it in there. Wow. That does it. Okay, wow, this looks delicious. Man, it smells good, it looks good. All right, I'm going in, you ready? <laughs> Might be hit difficult to keep together, so you gotta, you gotta kinda squeeze the, the outsides to the middle. Wow. Mmm, how is it? Really good. What do yeah. you think? Well, and it was super easy to make. I mean, I can't get over how easy it was. Like four ingredients. Okay. That was good. I'm going in. My brother never did wait for me. Only time he ever waited for me was, waited for me was when he was born. I was first. Ah! <laughs> you know what, buddy? They both taste tremendous. You can put it over there. Put it on yours. So, 
They both tasted really good. I didn't even notice much of a difference between them. So I think the takeaway is get the lighter one. The Walden Farms one was good. Yeah. Because it's half the calories. And the truth is, you're not putting a lot of season uh, uh, dressing, Caesar dressing on the thing anyway. It's only, a, it's like half of a, what they call a serving. So, yeah. so listen, if you're gonna try this, let us know how it goes, because this is a super easy and very summer friendly recipe. Yeah. It's light, mm -hmm. easy, uh, basically four or five ingredients, that was it. You can get the chicken already pre-cooked yeah. if you want in the store. Sure. That would be another way to do it. You could even get a rotisserie chicken. Right. Do that. You just shred some off. You want to measure it so you make sure you got six yeah, ounces. The weighing and measuring is, is important for yeah. sure. Um, but check it out. With that, yeah. Brothers, Brothers Bistro. Bistro out.